there are, I guess, three things that allowed me to come forward. And the first was knowing that publishing this wouldn't change Elena's behavior, but would provide solidarity for people who have experienced similar harm at the hands of Elena or even people like her. And that's a solidarity that I know that I've craved for the last five years. So I imagine that other folks were also looking for that sort of connection. And I wanted to open the door to that. That's Tatum Fierstead. I'll close out this report with some reflections from her. Um, secondly, I've been learning a lot um, about how white cisgender women are the gatekeepers of the patriarchy and how we protect it to serve our own best interests. And I really want to stop doing that. And after trying multiple times to say something to Elena privately, I felt like by not saying anything publicly, I was continuing to protect and enable another harm causing white woman. And I didn't, I didn't want to do that anymore. Um, and finally, I've needed a lot of therapy to get to this place. Telling the truth with clear boundaries and a clear goal, as I stated in the letter, was not something I could do before I understood why I was attracted to someone like her. Why did I stay in that relationship as long as I did? And why even years later, when her name gets mentioned, why do I have this visceral negative response? And thanks to my licensed therapists, I have a lot of clarity and self-compassion and tenderness towards the woman I was and how I ended up in that situation. And I'm, I feel like I'm able to clearly articulate that um, in the letter. And I'm proud of what I did.